I'm at the Pulitzer Foundation for the Arts with Dr. Christina Klutkin, and we're touring Reflections of the Buddha, which is now on display. Why is this show important to the St. Louis art scene? This show is important for two main reasons. One, it brings together a number of famous and very important works from around the U.S. and other collections, places like Harvard University's art museums, the Nelson Atkins Gallery in, in Kansas City, as well as St. Louis's own art museum, have all contributed pieces to the show, in addition to a number of other venues. And second, it gives us a chance to see a terrific introduction to Pan-Asian Buddhism right here in St. Louis and in this terrific 20th century contemporary Japanese building that provides a beautifully meditative context for the pieces. Now the works are amazing, but what is your favorite piece and why? My favorite piece has to be the K-School Japanese Buddhist hand in the foyer gallery right when you walk in. This massive hand composed of incredible wood that's uh, sensitive and beautifully produced but also massive so it indicates just how large the original Buddha would actually have been to create this relationship of power and humility between itself and the viewer. Now besides everything you've said, which is a lot, why is this show a not miss? This show is a not miss because you'll never see these pieces all together in one place again. And to be frank, you may never see some of these pieces outside of storage or outside of display contexts in many different other cities. So as far as a once in a lifetime opportunity goes, I can't imagine a single other moment in time when all of these pieces will be together in the same place simultaneously. There it is, Pulitzer Foundation for the Arts. Check it out.